Hi, I'm Bobby Balicki from the National Electrical Manufacturers Association, better known as NEMA. Thanks to the U.S. Department of Energy, we are proud to present Bids for Grids, new media for the energy workforce. In partnership with George Mason University and NEMA members, we've developed a series of short educational videos introducing electrical equipment that's used in the smart grid, the electrical grid for the 21st century. This series is going to present a dozen of the most important products that are critical to a smart grid success. Our mission is simple, to make you more aware of smart grid technologies and help you consider a career in power engineering. This edition of Bids for Grids takes us to Milwaukee, Wisconsin, where we will visit Rockwell Automation, who manufactures controllers, a vital part of the smart grid. Here we are in Milwaukee, home of Rockwell Automation, where today we're going to learn about controllers and the role they play in the smart grid. Let's go inside. Our PLC, Programmable Logic Controller, also known as an automation controller, uh, is a hardened uh, industrial computer uh, which by means of uh, sensing uh, and human inputs, uh, intelligent control, uh, user feedback, and then actuation is able to uh, control an automated process. A programmable logic controller can be related to uh, a desktop computer uh, in terms of having inputs. Uh, in, in the example of a desktop computer, we're talking about a mouse, a keyboard, uh, some type of direct user interaction. In, in, when you're looking at a programmable logic uh, controller, you're looking at types of information such as uh, temperature, discrete inputs, uh, so whether or not a switch is on, uh, what the current state of the system is. Uh, when you're looking at outputs in a, in a desktop computer, you're looking at a monitor, you're looking at the speakers, the, the sound, uh, those types of things. Uh, but then back to the, the programmable logic controller, you're still able to have those types of outputs, but you're also able to control machinery. Uh, so you're, you're turning on outputs that will eventually somewhere down the line turn on a motor, uh, somewhere down the line uh, start a furnace up, those types of things. My favorite part about working in the automation industry is the diversity of opportunities available. Uh, everything from power generation to uh, manufacturing uh, to launching rockets to roller coasters. Uh, there's going to be a niche somewhere in there where everyone's going to be able to find interest. And I think interest in what you're doing allows you to do your best work. Programmable logic controllers have really uh, progressed just like the computer has over time. I mean, there's been more memory introduced into the system. We've been able to process a lot quicker, um, just like our processors are getting faster and faster in computers. In the in automation industry, our controllers are getting faster and faster as well. So we can more quickly adapt to the system, to the environment. When you look at the controller and how it plays a part in power generation, I mean, it's really the brains of the operation. It has to understand all the different parts of the system and be able to understand sort of what needs to happen next. So whether that's what sort of energy is being generated, whether it's how much energy is being distributed, it's playing a role in every single part of the process. Within the smart grid, you're going to have a whole lot of different parameters that you need to look at. You're going to have to understand um, what sort of energy you have available, what sort of energy is being generated. You might need to understand what the temperature is of a room that you're trying to control. Um, you can use the controller and get all those inputs and translate them into the right types of outputs so that your system can fully function. I think the way we start out with the design of any product here at Rockwell, and particularly controllers, is we're going to take the voice of a customer. That's going to start out with the end customer and what are their requirements. It's going to go through the requirements to be able to do the manufacturing and then it's going to be what are the requirements of actually using that product in the field. Um, from the manufacturing perspective, you're going to have different types of parts. You're going to have purely mechanical parts that are going to be the housings and going to actually mechanically lock things into place. Then you're going to have your electronics and those are going to go through um, very much high-speed assembly lines that place the chips on the boards. 
that go through and melt the solder to, to ad adhere the parts to the board. And then we're going to go through various types of testing. We're going to do visual inspection, we're going to do electronic inspection, and then we're actually going to put it through a functional test product before it's going to go out to the customer. Quality is going to start from the point where we take the voice of the customer and we're really going to start understanding do we have good requirements. We're going to do things statistically ahead of time to validate the design before it actually ever goes into manufacturing. You know, what quality really comes down to is really understanding what the customer's key requirements are, and it's two things. It's performance and how good of a resolution when there is an issue. So our customers are some of the largest names in the in industry that people have heard of. Everybody from consumer products to mining and metals to auto manufacturers, as well as life sciences, that's pharmaceuticals. We also, some of our customers include entertainment industry, um, as well as food and beverage. And so we assist them in preparing for the smart grid by helping to automate their facilities, helping them to collect the data, and providing them smart devices so that they can interact with the smart grid. We're making them a smart node on the smart grid. So they're collecting data so that they understand how much energy they use, how much water they use, how much um, resources they use and they're able then to have a communication with the smart grid. We view the opportunity for interaction with the smart grid as really an opportunity for manufacturing to improve and to become more advanced. And to do that, you're gonna to need to create jobs for people that have technical backgrounds, especially engineers and people that understand how electricity generation works and how factory and automation works. We look for employees that are strong communicators. We look for employees that have a willingness to learn and a sense of curiosity. We also look for people that have a basic technical background as well as willingness to develop themselves, a willingness to try different things and possibly move around within the organization to try work in different organizations. For example, they might work in automation one day, they might work in um, the drives group another day, they might work in sourcing another day. So we're looking for people that, have, that are willing to, to try new challenges and are willing to succeed. Today we learned a lot about automation and the role it plays in the reliability and efficiency of the smart grid. We also learned a lot about controllers and how important they are for industrial automation systems. From Milwaukee, home of Rockwell Automation, on behalf of NEMA, I'm Bobby Balicki. Five, three, two, one, action!